<laughs> hey everybody, what's up? I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to video anything exciting, really. Um, I've got some stuff here I do want to share with you, uh, but the weather's been crummy. I've been working my patootie off again uh, just because of the job. That being said, it's August 3rd, 2024. Uh, Tropical Storm Debbie is coming my way, so I am down on the boat to secure it and wanted to make a quick video to give you an update of everything that's going on. Uh, I'm very much done with procuring things for the boat. I'm really kind of cutting myself off on all that. I, um, I've got the last few components here that I'm going to share with you. One of the ones that I'm most excited about uh, was I've wanted a way to stay in contact without being feeling like I'm 24-7 online. Many of you probably know that Elon just released the Starlink Mini. I bought one. The roam plan that they have is $50 a month for 50 gigs which is more than enough to do the few things that are important to me. I want to be able to stay in contact. I want to be able to get weather. Weather being the biggest one. I want to be able to keep up with the weather and there's plenty of little out islands where you won't have cell reception. Between the $50 a month for the 50 gigs, I've got Mint Mobile for $15 a month. So I've got a phone, I've got a Wi-Fi connection through the internet, I can make phone calls, I can receive phone calls, so my family can stay in touch with me. Very important, here is the Mini. And as you can see, it is quite Mini. Um, what I have done, and I've already tested it, but I have bought a uh, cigarette lighter adapter. It uses a 5521 barrel plug, pretty standard stuff. I can plug this in out in the cockpit. I have mounted a piece of inch and a half PVC to a stanchion out there um, with just a couple of hose clamps. This works out there. It fits that inch and a half really well um, and it works. It just works. It works really good. I've already made a few Wi-Fi phone calls to check on that. So that's super exciting. I, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Just a very inexpensive way to stay in touch. So there's one little cool thing uh, that we required. And the other is, is I've got the rest of the components for the water maker. Um, you saw the pump in the last video. Um, here is a pulse dampening hose. This will go in between the pump and the pressure vessel. This one is made by AMI. Um, it was right around, I bought this and I got uh, two membranes for it. This is the membrane, but I got this and I got two membranes and as a new customer, I got a 10% discount. I got all this through Water Anywhere. I've got a uh, pre-filter. I've got a small centrifugal pump. Go through the strainer, hit the pump. Pump goes through the hose to the pressure vessel. And out of the pressure vessel, you basically have two connections. One of them will be your brine. One of them will be your freshwater product. So pretty excited about that too. I've really got pretty much everything I need there. Um, really, the very last thing I have to do, and this is probably going to take place in October, I'm thinking, when the weather cools off just a bit, is my yard work. Um, I've literally got five projects that I have to do. I need to put in the speed and depth transducers. I need to do the cutlass bearing. Um, and to do that, I'm also gonna pull the shaft because when I do that, I'm also gonna deal with the stuffing box. I need to replace one of the valves here, one of my through-hole valves, the galley sink valve needs replacing, and I need to put a T in the sink drain for the head. Um, and that is what's going to feed my water maker when I put that T in there. 
And if you recall in the last video, the reason I'm doing that is because when I'm done making product, I can shut the through hole and feed that T line. I can feed that sink drain by pouring uh, product water into the sink and thereby flushing out all the salt through the system, which you want to do every time. They highly recommend it, not just for membranes, but the makers of the pump also recommend that. Um, so that is my plan. And other than that, I don't really have a lot going on. I've got to finish uh, getting the boat prepped for possible, you know, 30, 40 knot winds they're calling for, which is not tremendous, but just want to make sure everything's secure. But I need to get started on that. Uh, I will pop this video together real quick and put it out tonight just so I can have an update out there. And I promise the next one I'm hoping to do at anchor somewhere because I've really been wanting to go out on the boat, man. Whew. Okay, um, that is all for now. Old man, over and out. Thanks for watching.